everybody, and welcome to the second edition of the Super Crappy Fun Time Newscast. I am your handsome host, Kevin Lau, and here are the stories that you need to know. This week, Facebook, the social networking giant, bought Instagram, the popular photo sharing application maker, for $1 billion. Many Instagram users were displeased with the acquisition, stating that Facebook would ruin Instagram's simplicity. The users actually went as far as to start a boycott of both services, however, it quickly ended around dinner time when everybody felt the need to take a picture of what they were eating. In other news, Ozzy Guillen, manager of the Miami Marlins, is in hot water recently regarding his comments about Fidel Castro. Uh, to paraphrase what he said, basically Ozzy Guillen said, I respect Fidel Castro. People have been trying to kill him for 60 years and he is still there. This, of course, upset many of the Cuban residents in Miami, and Miami Marlins management ended up suspending Guillen for five games. When we tried to reach out for Guillen for a comment, all he could say was, Por qué cuando hablo es ofensivo, pero cuando la mamacita in la modern family habla es sexy. Spanish is my first language, actually, folks. Wrap your head around that. I hope I was able to translate his fiery Latin temper. Huh. In other news, in Milton, Washington, Jeremy Wushtick is being touted as a hero. The seventh grader was recently on his way to school when his bus driver suffered a heart attack and this young gentleman was quick enough to jump behind the wheel and pull the bus over to safety. Hmm. When asked what it felt to be like a hero, all young Jeremy could say is, do you know how much 8th grade teacher ass I'm going to get? This is awesome! And in case you're looking for advertise here on the Super Crappy Fun Time Newscast, this is exactly where it goes. We don't have any advertisers yet right now, so here's the picture of a cute cat. And for our last news story today, pop music sensation Rihanna has recently reunited with her former estranged boyfriend, Chris Brown. The two have collaborated on two new singles, one entitled Birthday Cake and the other one, Turn Up the Music, the Remix. The two singles are quickly rising up the billboard charts across the country. And it comes as no surprise to anybody because obviously they have such great chemistry because of the time they toured together. And because of their, you saw it in their unforgettable MTV Video Music Award performance in 2007. And who could forget their pre-Grammy smash hit? Alright folks, that is all for today. My name is Kevin Lau, reminding you that if you saw it on the internet, it's probably true. And I'll see you next time.